morning. So today I got the longest run of my life. I'm gonna be running 20 miles and I'm actually more scared of this run than I am of the actual marathon. Cause you know, on the marathon, if my friends will be there, there's people there, it's an actual race. So there's more at stake, you know? And I know in my mind that no matter what, even if I have to crawl, I'm gonna crawl to the finish line. But when it's just like a regular training day, when I think about 20 miles and I think about all the other times I've cramped already, and it's been really bad, I'm like, sometimes you could just stop running, you know? There's nothing keeping you going. You don't have to keep running. And there's, it's so easy to get an Uber where you could just run like, like up to seven miles is easy for me now, which is cool. But I could run the eight mile, I'm done, and just get an Uber. So like, you're kind of scared of yourself a little bit, you know? Like you're kind of like, I hope today, the little pussy in my mind doesn't get so big and powerful that he's like, just get an Uber. Don't you want an Uber, Bart? Bart, I know you want an Uber. And so, that's the hard part where like, you. With these really long runs, you really come face to face with that inner voice. And most of the run is just you telling them, shut up, you just shut up, ain't nobody Uber and shut up. I don't need no Uber. That's pretty much the whole time. That's what running's all about. <laughs> you running by yourself today again? Yeah, so today I'm running by myself. Um, Nick is injured. He has a knee injury, so uh, his other marathon buddies told him to do more treadmill and probably start doing way more time in the pool. Ron is actually out of the marathon, but it's congrats to him because he has a fight coming up. So I get it, like you can't be training for a marathon when you're gonna fight somebody. And uh, Don is finishing up school, so today's just by myself. I mean, most of the runs are by myself, but We've been trying to do the long runs together so we can have a support group. So today will be a big test because it's the longest run of my program, 20 miles. I have to do it by myself. It's freaking 4 a.m. It's cold as shit outside. We'll see how I do. Just starting off the run, I got Nadim and Justin right behind me as a safety vehicle and for filming, and I already fucked up. So last night, I was charging my AirPods, and I just realized this morning that my pods weren't even in them, so I was just charging the case. And you guys know on a long run how important it is to have music. So I have this stupid cord and I hate cord, because as you're swinging your arms, you can knock it out of the ears. So, already off to a rough start. It's still dark out here, 5 a.m. Well, actually 4 a.m. It's cold as fuck, but uh, I think it's gonna be good. Rough start's always good, because that means it's all downhill from there. Hopefully, figuratively and literally. to shine a light on your face? Yeah. Fucking damn, one malfunction after another. So I took off my gloves, and I wear gloves, it's cold as fuck, to adjust the volume in my headset, and now I can't put my fingers back in. You know what I'm talking about? When you pull it out, and the inner lining comes out, and no matter how I'm trying to stuff my fingers in, even though I know I'm bouncing up and down, 
Why can't I put it in? So I might just have to run with no gloves now. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, thank God. So, I needed to pee really bad. I think uh, I drank too much water in this morning. Um, I stopped the time. It's at only three and a half miles right now. Good pace, but I gotta pee so bad, so I know it's gonna ruin my time, but I don't want to pee on a tree or pee outdoors like a savage, so I'm here. But as soon as I'm done peeing, I'm going right back outside. I'm about to show you guys uh, something yucky, but I think it's pretty important. So for the science, for instructional purposes, check this out. This is what well hydrated pee looks like. So if you've been drinking enough water, your pee should generally look like that. That means I have a lot enough water in me and it should look cool, pretty close to that all the time. So drink way more water, people. Stay hydrated and I hope that with all this hydration, I don't cramp. Fingers crossed. All right, back on the road. At the halfway point right now, just hit 10 miles. Uh, I'm waiting for Nadima and Justin to turn back around so I can do a little break. I'm gonna eat some electrolyte blocks, drink some water. Uh, I feel like I have hella boogers just crawling down my nose, but that's what happens when you're running. But I'm doing pretty good so far, zero cramps. I feel really good. I just gotta eat a little bit of something and then make my way back. Yay, my heroes are here. They brought me some food in the form of gels. These things go a long way. When I first started running, I was like, man, what's this bullshit? Is it gonna do anything? It actually does. Like these quick uh, digesting carbs are so important and the electrolytes and you feel it. Like you'll be running and you're like, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. And then when you take one of these, you're like, oh shit. Do, 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 do. Kind of like a, a video game. You're like, oh shit, shit really works. So I'm gonna eat one of these guys, got one of these cliff blocks, drink a little coconut water and then get back on the road and finish the second half. About to get back on the road. One thing they don't tell you is that when it's cold as fuck and then you slow down, now your whole body is stiff and I can feel the lactic acid immediately. So now I gotta feel like I gotta warm back up. But then also another way to look at it is like, cool, my body's fresh again. I think, except for my achy ass knees. But, oh yeah, by the way, this is my, uh, this is my second time testing out these amphibia shorts the new barbell amphibian shorts. They're probably dropping in uh, probably April or May. They're fucking dope though. So we really designed them so that you can go in a pool and then you can run and you can lift and you can kickbox. And one of the things I love that we put in here is we have this really tough uh, net mesh material. So it holds your stuff in place. But if you start doing hella long runs, when you have traditional pocket material and it's on your quads, you start getting a big ass sweaty wet spot and a sweaty wet spot. It's almost like having two Ziploc bags. So we wanted to create that so that your thighs can air out. And plus, if you were to ever take them into the water, when you come out of the water, it'll dry. It won't be wet there. So, so far, so good. I've put like over 30 miles on these shorts already and I love, love, love them. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm pretty sure these are gonna go quick. They're gonna come out in three colors. So if you wanna stay on top of it, go to the Barbell Brigade website, enter your email into the newsletter uh, on, the, on the website and then we'll keep you guys updated. That's where all the new, new information comes out. All right, time to get back on the road. So now is when that inner pussy ass motherfucker is screaming at me. Cause I know I just hit 15 miles and I got five miles left, right? Which is right around the corner, five miles, baby. It's about one more hour of running. But the inner pussy is in me is like, yo, you know you could do five miles. Get an Uber, baby. Just get a little Uber. It's all comfy. Get some drinks. Put your tired legs up. And I'm like, shut up. Get out of my head. Get out of there. I want to do 20 miles. Never did 20 miles before. I know if I finish 20 miles, I'll be so proud of myself. My self-esteem will go through the roof. 
So that's what I'm telling myself. Do hard shit. Do hard shit. Do hard shit. Twenty one miles, bitch. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Oh shit! I got 21 miles, that motherfucker! That's right! Hell yeah! I'm so ready for this fucking marathon. I'm gonna fucking smash this shit. Zero cramps, felt good, by myself. Hell yeah, man.